All right, so here we go. Yep. We're tearing into the NSG, uh, NSG 370. So this is going to be a multi-video, I mean a multi-video in-depth thing. So we got it up here. We fully cleaned it, prepped the case. Uh, these drain plugs on here take a, <laughs> there we go, a 17 millimeter Allen. So Holly's going to go ahead and drain that. Plus it has this filler plug on the side. Now that takes a different size. Okay. Good. Where I cover my hands. Don't, don't cover it. Don't cover your hands. I can't tell. Oh, there's a breather. Yeah, so it does, the breather's right up here. Up top. All right. I brought up this is an N17 I gotta block both of our faces out for it to focus and let me grab the other Allen this does the side one it's a 14 all right so I went on and downloaded this manual oh did you find the gear loop I did not and I remembered why I cannot find it it takes exactly well 1.9 quarts a Valvoline synchro mesh. Can't remember what the weight is. Probably 7590 or Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. That's was. probably what it is. And Ooh. I think it was just isn't it gear oil? It's it is it's specific to this trans, yeah. so it doesn't take uh, standard fluid. But either way, I downloaded this rebuild manual. Transmission train transfer case. It's very generic as far as removing it, but it does go into telling you exactly what you need to do for a full rebuild now yeah okay but one of the big benefits is is it shows you the tools that are going to be needed also now that's extremely important to me because I wouldn't have had a clue as to what order what to order now I'm gonna warn you June 2021 we got roughly fourteen hundred dollars in tools you see Darren Darren and Harley, why would you do that? Why would you spend that much on tools as opposed to just sending this thing out to rebuild it? For a couple different reasons. One is, is we weighed our options, uh, $2,000 to rebuild it. And that's to send it out. We would have had shipping and a core. And of course, we would have got a core back. But however, we do have a broken fin on here. It doesn't bother us at all. It's just more cosmetic than anything. I mean, that aids in cooling. There's not a lot of strength from that, but uh, so that would have dinged us on a core. So, but we, we could have found a core, probably not too bad. The next thing is, is um, uh, <laughs> we got the fin, the core. Oh, if these things are as finicky is what they say they are uh, and especially Harley's gonna have that thing I'm assuming for a long time uh, so we may be back into this thing again you know because we don't know be out on the trail or something and he messes up one of the gears or one of the synchronizers and we already get we already invested the money in the tools it is what it is now we've already been like I said we've already been advised to not do this rebuild the Different transmission companies said this, not one, we only talked to one, and that's high gear in Memphis, Tennessee. Very cool guys. Um, they were very, yeah, they treated us very decent when we were on the phone with them, and we did order a couple parts from them, but they did advise me against doing this rebuild. But, so we'll see what we're getting into. All right, so we're gonna set this thing down and start splitting the cases, all right? Uh, what size torx is that? T30? Yep. T30. This was already supposed to have been taken off here. They want you to take this, um, oh, uh, what's it called? Um, shifter? Um. Oh, I don't know. Alright, so this was already supposed to have been taken off. Uh, the actual whatever this shifter tower is. It's a T30, there's four of them. The, the reason why we didn't take it off is 
his uh it was malfunctioning the what was malfunctioning oh the screws inside the tunnel of his jeep we had a couple of the screws that stripped out so we were able to get this thing down the transmission down enough to where just yeah just tap with the rubber hammer Is it in neutral? Yeah, it's right. Cool. Assuming it pulls directly up. It's going to work, I think. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to emphasize that you buy a new box of Ziploc bags. I already said that more than once, but mark them with a Sharpie exact, exactly what they go to, just like this uh, shifter module, or not module, Tower, shifter towel that we just took out we're gonna put on there uh, four bolts shifter bolt and put it in there you know, it seems kind of there's not very many bolts to this but to a guy or a woman that doesn't normally take these apart they're not sure exactly what they're looking for so the case what? Oh. What? so there is this right here and I don't I know it doesn't fit the best, does it? I, I gotta be honest, I don't know how to take this off. That's uh, a C clip. Oh, what if we turn it down like this? Oh, I see how it is. Yeah, okay, I see it. I see it. So, actually, you may want to turn it. just take two needle nose. I don't know about this. We're gonna try. You also order the shifter, the, the bracket thing. That's what that thing is, and so that's what that is, and it allows it went over like so. Actually, we probably put that. In. No, that's gonna fall. Um, but yeah, so that's off. And I, we, what we weren't sure, this bearing here, that bearing actually feels like it needs to be changed, but we're not sure how it's serviced. I'm assuming they buy this whole unit. Like so that. we will find that out. And I don't, you better do a Ziploc bag just yeah. for that. All right, so the next thing is to remove this plug. Now I do know that you got to go right into the center and I, I think we can just pry against it oh man I am prying hard he's prying hard I'm prying hard Oh man, there we go, got it to move some. Uh, the Mechanic 44, he struggled with this and I, I gotta tell you, I would have done it exactly the same as he did. He, uh, he came around here and started working. Um, it's coming. So I'm assuming you're replacing this. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what's back here. Uh, let me grab a brake tool. Who's what you got? There we go. Oh wow. So that's what it is. It's um you can see it's a so that's what that's what you're removing right there. It the only piece it's only a piece of rubber right there in the center. The rest of it's hard metal. And it's pressed it's pressed in there pretty hard. Alright, so I think 
I'm not sure. I think we removed that bowl. Figure it out. So this is an E18 or so. It's that type of torque. So you can see what it is. It says that's next to take off. Okay. And that's what that looks like. <laughs> Alright. What? Should have bought the entire set, all of them. Oh, this is a ten. Okay. Oh, that one takes a small. It takes one? a ten right there for the says to remove this seal here. I'm gonna, I have no idea what this, I don't know how you do this one. Yep, right there. I saw a little, there's a little hole right there. Yep. And there's another hole right here that you can pierce. So, oh, that one easy. Okay. So I don't know if you can see right there. And I'm assuming that gets replaced. Well, I want to focus. So the, <laughs> there's a seal right there. Yeah, this will all come with the bearing. It has a um, couple. Well, it's got these spots right here that you can. Um, it's got these spots right here that you can penetrate actually right in the center so it wasn't that hard so it appears though you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to have some sort of tool like this that we have uh, this is snap-on but I'm sure you can get gather other variants of it I probably should have just left it where it was there you go. All right, so we got a snap ring here. So buy yourself a good pair of snap ring pliers. Uh, these are wilds. I did quite a bit of research and people said that these were the ones to have. Now I've owned these, used them on other jobs. I don't remember for what, but nothing like a junk pair of um, snap rings, even with a good, maybe I can switch to the other end. I don't think I need that. Okay. And we spread it a little bit more. Get it over the teeth. Okay. So that's gonna seem kind of funny to you, or not not funny when you if you have a bad set of uh, snap ring pliers. Yuck. Oh, hey, cool. So I noticed not only does this have little divots in this one, these, these are just a good set of snap ring pliers. Yeah. But, okay, moving on. This must be the reverse sensor. Yeah, it is. Yep, I can see it is. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so it's an E12. We gotta take all these off back here. I'm gonna leave two in.
And so, so far, it, it looks pretty straightforward. And I'm going to go ahead and loosen these. Now, the reason you're leaving those two in is we got to tip it up. Yeah. Now, it doesn't say anything about taking the sensor out, but. It just makes me wonder if we should take the sensor out. Yeah, that seems like something if you broke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that I'm gonna take it out. So I think we are in agreement that that should, should be out. That, the rear case bolt. Oh wow, that was super super loose. Right on me. Yeah, so that, um, let me show you exactly. Let me put this back in. Is it recording? Yeah. Let me put this back in so you can see exactly what it does. Harley, can you um, pull that sensor out? And I think they can see it in there. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's just a little plunger sensor, and you can see right there on the shifter fork as it goes ahead and back uh it just that must turn the sensor on and off okay so he hopped up on the workbench we got a little gap here i guess go ahead and go ahead and start pulling oh yeah all right all right cool because i didn't realize how close we were that spot that they said breaks yep that's always, apparently there was, those things are always broke. That's okay. You ordered one? It's right there. That top box. Yeah, this is broke, geez. Um, they say normally these break, don't they? Or something? Uh, I don't remember exactly what does. It looks good in here. From what I'm saying. Yeah, the gears look really good. Looks super. Those are gonna fall out. Yeah. So, okay. Well, let's keep taking it apart.